Rolling start. Green flag away we go. James Birch. Good start. Ben Jagger tucks it behind. Up the inside, Steve Chilby and Rick Christie battling over third and fourth position. Christie gets a better run up the hill. And uh, Lachlan Ward looking down on the inside of Stephen Chilby as well. And also tucked in that battle was Reagan Angel. In fact, Angel's in between Stephen Chilby and Lachlan Ward. And Brendan Hurrigan's made up a spot off the line as well. And Brendan Hurrigan now up behind Lachlan Ward as they head down the hill for the first time. But uh, what we're seeing out in front is much of what we saw last year, which is that it's James Burge with a pretty commanding margin already over the rest of the field. Ben Jagger, who was very quick last year as well, slotting into second position. And they're going to go three wide on the run down into turn 10. Lachlan Ward might get two spots in the one corner if he can pull it up. He locks the brakes up a bit into turn 10 and he'll run a bit wide on the exit. And that will allow Reagan Angel to dive back to the inside. And Brendan Hurrigan's made a spot there as well. So Brendan Hurrigan gets down on the inside of both Lachlan Ward and Stephen Chilby. Race start there from Brendan Hurrigan. He qualified particularly well, but always doesn't get good results here at Wakefield Park. He's moving his way up through the field. Ben Jagger not letting James Burge disappear up the road. Fastest lap of the race with Ben Jagger. One minute 5.5. After uh, second separating out two race leaders. Lachlan Ward back down the inside of Brendan Hurrigan in turn two. And Lachlan Ward gets up. Lap the race once again for Ben Jagger. And it's only 0.19 of a second between two race leaders, the two teammates of the line. So Ben Jagger really applied the pressure to James Burge. And he gets a good run out of turn two up the hill as well. Not quite able to find Brendan Hurrigan. So they'll swap positions once again at turn number one. Oh, and Hurrigan tries to go back down the inside of turn two. Not quite able to do it. And James Burge just responds a little bit to the pressure from Ben Jagger. He was a couple of tenths quicker that time. The margins just gone out six tenths a second. James Burge certainly can't afford a mistake at this stage. Well, we're speaking of mistakes. Ray Clock up from Rockland Ward at turn. Side of Brendan Hurrigan at turn one. Side by side in the braking zone at turn two, and it is Rockland Ward who moves ahead. The race wins of James Burge. He was pushed all the way for that one by Ben Jagger, but he does set the fastest lap of the race on the very last lap. And Reagan Angel's car has slowed up dramatically coming out of turn ten. So it'll be Lachlan Ward who just holds out Brendan Hurrigan to finish up fourth. What a shame for Reagan Angel, his car conking out. We'll stop before he gets there though because David O'Hara gets through. And here comes Reagan Angel literally crawling across the line to finish up in ninth position. And then Graham Fraser and Jim McCain rounding out our finishes for the opening race. Legend cars. They'll have two more races this afternoon, the Legend Cars.